Good day from Kamakura, Japan. On this Saturday, May 4th, my it's in May already. It's shaping up to be a beautiful morning. It's 14 degrees outside. And if you're just joining this channel, I'm Robert and this is Haru. Haru is 16 months old. <laughs> She's a pleasure to have around. The garden is coming along very well, very well. Let me show you what we've been doing over the last week or so. Let's take a look and see how our cucumbers are doing. Ooh, looks pretty good. Yeah, I planted these a few days ago. Yeah, and the temperature in here is at uh, 32 degrees, 31, 32 degrees Celsius. Yeah, these will be ready in about a week or two. Yeah, I tried planting onions down here below, but nothing happened. I was gifted some jalapeno seeds, so I'll plant these soon. It's raining this morning. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm hoping the rain stops by this afternoon. I'm gonna tie up my cucumbers here and then see how the strawberries are doing. And I'll show you the latest addition to the garden. I've got a new trumpet bush. Okay, so the rains have stopped. Now we can take a look and see what's happening out here. Okay, let's see, how are we doing in here? Uh-oh. I think we've had some thieves. Yeah, I showed you before we had some some nice strawberries in here and they're gone. <laughs> looks like we've got some ripe ones down here. See that? Oh, that looks good. These are the white ones. Yeah, something came here and ate them. A squirrel or a bird. Oh well. <laughs> Can't always win. Yeah, those were nice ones too. Well, we got plenty more coming in. Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, let's get rid of some of these old dead leaves here. This is the avocado tree. Yeah, this here is the sumac, the wax tree that Ali was asking about. This is doing quite well. It even has some seeds growing here. Look at that. Very nice. Cabbages are hanging in there. Still a little small, but that's all right. Okay. And here's the new addition to the garden. Another golden trumpet bush. It's given to me by my colleague, David. Well, I'm here at work and I'm preparing to take this home with me. This is a golden trumpet bush that a colleague has gifted to me. Yeah, the one that I have at home is the one that he gave me. So I'll have two now. This is an interesting look. Very interesting look. Okay, let's get this home. Well, this wouldn't fit into the back, so I put it in the back seat here. That should be fine. Okay, let's get this downstairs. Okay, I'll just set this here for now. I'll take this bag off. Okay, welcome home. <laughs> I may plant some more of the butternut squash, just in case, just to see. But the eggplant looks good. Yeah, even got one ready to flower here. And there, yeah, they're looking good. Once they get a little bit bigger, I'll tie them to the stakes here. And when you look at, oh, yeah, I uh, created this little seating space here. <laughs> so I can actually come in and sit down. I can do my pruning and whatnot here and be shaded eventually from the sun, the morning sun. And yeah, you can see the tomatoes are growing very nice, very nice. They'll come out on the inside here and grow upward. Yeah, they're looking very good. We've got some flowering here. Very good, very good. Yeah, things are coming along very nicely. Let's take a quick peek down at the lower level. See how we're doing down here. Yeah, the garlic's looking good. Yeah, they're coming in very nice. Yeah, lots of them this year. Yeah, I'm going to cover this. I have a new netting system with frames, so I'll put it around that in a little while. But look at the potatoes. Yeah, they're coming in really spectacularly. Look at this. Very good growth. Wow. Very nice, lush growth. Yeah, totally different look this year. Still have to do something with my furniture over here. 
all things in time. Yeah, we'll clean this up. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> okay, things look good, very good. Yeah, the melons here, they're hanging in there. Let me get rid of this uh, clover here. Yeah, this one's growing quite a bit. I'll wait, do this tomorrow. some jalapenos here. This seeds that I got from Ted. Ted is a friend of mine, a, a neighbor. Yeah, I was over at his place uh, this past weekend for a nice barbecue party. Very nice, very nice. Nice people. Very wonderful food. Howder, she had a good time too. <laughs> now he gave me these jalapenos. He's a big fan of jalapenos. So uh, I'm going to plant some here and be my first time with jalapeno, so that should be fun. So I'm gonna plant four here, well, four cups. I might get more than one from each. So I have these dried ones here. I wonder if I should open these or just use the ones that uh, are floating freely in here. Yeah, I think I'll use these since these are nice and packed by nature, I'll leave these for later. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a couple seeds in each. And like I say, I'll thin them later. Yeah, just evenly distribute them around the cup, press them down a little bit. Okay, we'll water these in really good. Let's open up this tower. can go in. Okay, I'm gonna lower this down a bit. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so yeah, I'll get these started here in this larger tower, because this one over here is a bit crowded. Yeah, I think we'll have some jalapeno sprouting in a couple days. We'll see. That should do it. Well, I think it was wrong about these tanuki, these raccoon dogs. I don't think they have mange per se. I think they're shedding their hair because in the winter time they're quite furry. And I think what they're doing now is just shedding their hair, regrowing new hair and soaking up some vitamin D in the meantime. So I stand corrected. <laughs> Listen to those birds. <laughs> Ooh, very foggy morning. Well, it's time to stake my tomatoes. They've fallen over. We had some rain overnight, so I need a cushion here. So I'll start right here with these what we have here. I'm just going to put a, a loose string right around the base here and a loose knot. Yeah, I want them to grow behind the netting this way. Okay, so I'll get rid of my suckers while I'm at it. Well, these two here, I'm going to tie them separately just so that I don't constrict their growth. And again, a shoestring knot so that I can reposition them when necessary. While I'm at it, I'm going to get rid of some of these lower leaves. These really aren't necessary. And when they touch the ground like this here, that could introduce some pathogens. You don't need these. out a bit. 
I'm thinning the number of plants. These were growing in a cluster here. And I'm cutting off excess foliage. See, this one's rather thin. And these two here are quite thick, so I'll leave these thicker ones. And this one here. And I'll thin some of these as well. I think I'll group these together. This one here is bent, so I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, this is bent. And as they get taller, I'll allow them to go their separate ways. I think I can group these together, tie them to the stake. I'll let this one here go a little bit longer, and then I'll join it with these. So I think this looks a whole lot better. You know, a lot more air can get in between. Yeah, I say this looks pretty good. And when you agree, that looks a whole lot better and they're growing exactly the way I want them to all on the insides. And while we're here, look at this. I've got roses, beautiful roses. They're looking good. Just wanna get rid of some of these lower leaves. Do a little bit of weeding while I'm here. And I'll go ahead and tie these to the stake here. Okay, so I've got my eggplants all tied up. They're looking good. The butternut squash is hanging in there. I don't see any vine borers yet. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be here soon. Yeah, we'll have to contend with them. I don't see any sign of radishes just yet. I'll give it a little while. They'll be here shortly. Yeah, volunteer tomato coming in here. Yeah, you see this volunteer tomato here? I'm gonna let it grow. And any other that I find, yeah, we'll nurture them. So things are looking pretty good. And luckily we're getting some sunshine here. <laughs> we had a lot of rain yesterday, the day before. Yeah, so hopefully things will dry out a bit here. It's looking good. Let's take some of this stuff down to the lower level, put it in the compost pile. See how things are doing down here. Garlic. Yeah, the blueberries are looking really good. I have a cover that I'm going to use for these, ones that I bought early in the season. Okay, and the potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes are looking really good. And the garlic as well. And I've been meaning to move my rosemary bush over to here. Let's see if I can do that. I wonder if any roots have come out the bottom. Certainly have. <laughs> I'll just have to pull them up. Hopefully it won't hurt the plant too much. That's not so bad. Yeah, I want this here for a better passage through there. I'll let that hang over the edge there. Okay, all of this. Yeah, this is taking over my sage. And this is one hell of a root system here. Look at that. These are some of my tulip bulbs. I'll save these. This may recover. Let's pull this back. So I'll clean this up a little later. This way, how do and I can get through here a lot easier. And once this dries out, I'll clean it up and maybe I'll plant something else in there. Yeah, I wanted this moved and repositioned. This is good. Let's clear this growth out of here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Hear me calling your name? I'll let these dry out here. I can see here this cucumber is ready to be tied. So let's see what we can do here. It does seem to be tied at the bottom, so what I'll do is just wrap this around. And this one's on its way, on its way up. Yeah, here's the old uh, cucumbers. This one is not going to make it. 
So get rid of this here. I'll leave the string to tie up something else. I wonder if this is ready. Let's just wrap this around. And this one's ready to go. Any more? Yeah, this one wouldn't hurt. There we go. This one's ready. There we go. Uh, I see my tower has fallen a bit. So let's work on this here. It's getting a, it's getting a bit crowded over here. <laughs> this is stuck. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think I need to move this closer in. Just want to make sure this gets all the light and space that it needs. Yeah, everything looks okay, but all the fruit is gone. That's all right. Still early in the season yet. The top looks promising. Okay. I'm not liking this. I think we're done with this here. Yeah, we're done with this. I'm not liking this at all. Okay. This is plan B. This is what I grew the peppers on last year. Yeah, this may work. Repurposed for the strawberries. How's that look? Looks better. Yeah, I'd say so. What I can do is just open up some, some small holes here to get these posts through and down. Okay, this might work even better in keeping the birds and squirrels out. Yeah, I can tie this much lower. Yeah, this may work a lot better. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> okay, this new trumpet bush will go in here. Yeah, maybe we can get some cross-pollination. I see new growth coming in here. Very nice. Okay, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this will do the trick. Give me some strawberries here. I've lost about five of them so far. So all of this looks really good. Really good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Everything is well soaked. So I'm going to hold off on fertilizing them for the second week until tomorrow. We'll do that then. Let these dry out for a while. Now this is the second week of fertilizing using my new fertilizer, this BioGrow. <laughs> the hose doesn't reach. <laughs> I think I'll start down on the lower level. I'll start right here with the garlic. And the blueberries. And the potatoes next. Need to refill this first. So this is the fourth pail that I've used. Eight liters each, 32 liters, which is eight gallons for everything. Not bad, not bad at all. Make sure I get everything over here as well. Hydrangea, should be pretty this year. I wanted to show you some more of the roses here down at the lower level, beautiful. Howdy. Ready for a morning walk? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> okay, you ready? Let's go outside. Now the flags are up because today is a national holiday, Children's Day. So I guess this place will be crowded later on today. Yeah, well, Haru, it's time to go to the vet. Oh, this way. Okay. You gonna be all right? You gonna get car sick? Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, you'll be all right here. Okay. 
see you okay back there? You be right? May 1st. Okay, let's go. We're ready. Front. And pink jasmine. Oh, it's very nice. Isn't this beautiful? Very beautiful bamboo grove here. And when these start growing, they grow very fast. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Thank you. 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 Thank you.